Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Earlier this year, um, I had chest pains and I thought that was serious enough, so we went to the hospital. Very quickly, doctors were able to tell me that um, something's not right and that I was actually diagnosed with a form of blood cancer. And it took me a couple of months in and out of hospital each time, at least 20, 25 days in isolation ward uh, before I could finally go home. After countless prayers that were answered due to Our Lady's intercession at this shrine, I had the confidence, like that which is mentioned in the Memorari prayer, to fly to Our Lady in this time of trouble and distress. I naturally wanted to embark on a nine-week novena with the intention of finding a suitable bone marrow donor and to have a recovery. However, I was unable to be physically present at Saturday novenas as I was immunocompromised and the slightest infection could be deadly for me then. When my mom heard about my diagnosis, she was very distressed and worried. And because she couldn't visit me, I could feel that she felt helpless as a mother towards her sick child. During my prayer time, my wife and I were both prompted to ask my mom to visit Novena Church on my behalf for nine weeks. I was delighted when she said yes, being a non-Catholic. It was really wonderful to have my mom meet my mother this way. I firmly believe in the power of prayer. For six months, I was blessed by the nightly Zoom prayer sessions organised by my church community. When we are sick, it is natural that we run to our mothers for comfort. Similarly, during this trial, the rosary was the most natural and comforting form of prayer for me and my community. Watching her son suffer on the cross, Our Lady understands what suffering is. Therefore, there is nothing more comforting than having Our Lady intercede on our behalf to our Son, our Lord Jesus Christ.